Hi everyone, this is Yashpal here and today I'm going to discuss part 12 under social issues section under social issues that is is the growing level of competition good for the youth let's begin with in one of the most acclaimed work on the evolution of species in the 90s in the 19th century when Darwin spoke of the struggle for existence through natural selection and as mostly recognized as survival of the fittest in the nature, he was very much convinced that adaptation is a potent force of organic evolution. Based on this later ecologists ka Ecologist Gauss demonstrated in his laboratory experiments that when resources are limited, the competitively superior species will eventually eliminate the other species. When we talk about growing level of competition among youths, it is not entirely same as that of Darwinian postulates. However, it is not entirely different either. Most of the times, competition is not only good but essential for survival, growth, and creativity of the individual and for the progress of society and nation. Competition is very much essential. Competition streamlines and disciplines, disciplines the crudeness of aspirations. With the growing level of competition, a large fraction of youth adapts and improvises. Growing competition instills objectivity for the output. It has led to the inclusion in it has led to the inculcation of new values like professionalism, time management, etc., which enhances the productivity. Growing comp competition has uh, also led to new trends which would have a long term impact. For example, the worst of entry entrepreneurship has led to the positive creation of a startup ecosystem. It has a potential to enhance and utilize inherent skills of the budding generation. This will provide youth an opportunity to take up own interests as professions. Competition has enhanced aspirations of youth even in rural areas. who are pursuing skill up upgradation. In an address, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi stressed that India's strength lies in the 3D, 3Ds, that is demographic, dividend, democracy and demand. These, however, add up to intensify one big C, which is competition. Demography provides the largest absolute population of youth participation in competition. Democracy ensures that each one of them elig is eligible to participate without exclusion and demand for opportunity outweighs the, outweighs the availability of opportunities. Thus, the level of competition in India unique by sheer bits of its intensity which is further burdened by the social inequalities that exist historically making it a competition among unequals since the opportunities resources and the extent of excellence are limited sometimes merely working hard might not suffice Economic activities, for example, are more dependent on the supply-demand balance. Required stimulus which could overcome this hindrance is system-driven and an individual youth can do little to overcome even at the cost of hard work. Competi competition, however, is certainly good for consumer class of people who get the best available available product uh, of the skills 
कंपटीशन इज द फाउंडेश फंडामेंटल पिलर ऑफ ह्यूमन एवोल्यूशन द कंपिटिटिव स्पिरिट विच हेल्प्स इन ब्रिंगिंग आउट द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल इफ डिवेलपड ओवर द एयर्स हेल्प्स टू गेट बेटर एवरी टाइम द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एडवांटेज ऑफ ग्रोइंग लेवल ऑफ कंपटिशन कैन बी सीन इन कॉरपोरेट्स वे द कंपिटिटिव स्पिरिट अमंग द एम्प्लॉयज नॉट ओनली एलिवेट्स दैम बट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू गेट्स बेनिफिटेड बाई ग्रोइंग एंड अचीविंग न्यू पिनाकल्स हैविंग सेट सो देर इज ए डिफरेंस बिटवीन वट इज पॉजिटिव आर ए हेल्दी कंपिटिशन एंड ए नेगेटिव आर ए एन एन हेल्दी कंपिटिशन एंड हेल्दी कंपिटिशन अराइज वेन विनिंग बिकम्स द सोल प्रेरोगेटिव टू कम्पीट मॉरल्स आर सेट असाइड एंड द रूल्स ऑफ द गेम आर इग्नोर्ड दिस नॉट ओनली इंड्यूज द डिके ऑफ वैल्यूज बट आल्सो हिंडर्स कैपेबिलिटी टू परफॉर्म इन ए टीम दोस्त हु कम टू द प्रेशर क्रम्बल इट रिजल्ट इन सीरियस कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस लाइक हंग हायर स्ट्रेस एंड एनजाइटी लेवल्स डिप्रेशन एसेट्रा वी हेयर न्यूमरस इंसेंसिस ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स कमिटिंग सुसाइड्स अनएथिकल प्रैक्टिस फार आउट ऑफ टर्न प्रमोशंस एथलीट्स फॉलिंग इन टू द ट्रैप ऑफ ड्रग्स एसेट्रा दिस कंपिटिशन बुल्स कैरेक्टर मे बी वन ऑफ द फ्रीकुंटली टॉस जॉर्गन इन इन इकनॉमिक प्रस्पेक्टिव विच जस्टिफाइज द सिंगल माइंडनेस ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट एट पर्सनल एंड सोशल लेवल द नोशन ऑफ करेक्टर इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइकिक हेल्थ और सेल्फ एस्टीम इज वेरी मच अंडरमाइंड बाई द इफेक्ट ऑफ कंपिटिशन द आउटकम ऑफ सच कंपिटिशन लेवल सक्सेस ओनली टू द एक्सटेंट वेन वन डिफीस अदर पीपल इन सच ए कंपिटिशन एनवायरमेंट हम ह्यूमेन attributes of compassion reaching out to help and surviving in a sustainable ma- in a sustainable manner are ignored and people around us are used to uh, use their props and ladders to climb up to achieve the success this in perpetuity develops as habit and takes away the human sensitivity the social trait for which the very species of homo sapiens is identified distinct from animals the growing competition in this perspective highlights that our society is becoming increasingly materialistic a large number of youths of today represent this tr- transformation this has led to erosion of social values such as community participation social service and cooperative spirit without with growing level of uh, competition the rat race gets virus people look out to ensure their success and comes the cyclic and the vicious effect of manes of competition for example in in academics proliferation of the coaching industry in india certainly helps many students to face and compete against the odds but it has mechanized a process of learning of students who are losing their analytical skills and becoming robotized with efficient computing skills but no original thinking such spoon fed mass enters the working class of the system and gradually the inefficiency surface says in one form or the other this contagious herd mentality explains explains west of what our youth is going through today instead of doing a rationalized analysis of one's capability they are at times forced to and yet other times choose to comply with the norms set over by the society for better prospects keeping their own aspirations and inclinations forgotten and subdued families have a tendency to stake their pride in the performance of their child in a competition as a result instead of individuals hope and aspirations it is the clouded 
एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ फैमिली एट लार्ज बिच मैन्यूवर्स जंग जनरेशन कंपटीशन अमंग पीर्स ब्रिक्स द बैरियर ऑफ गुड विल एंड अफेक्ट सोशल बिहेवियर ऑफ यूथ मेकिंग दैम मोर एग्रेसिव एंड रेक्लूज द ग्रोइंग नंबर्स ऑफ सुसाइड्स अमंगस्ट यूथ विकास ऑफ फेलियर्स इन एग्जाम्स आर टेस्टी मॉनिंग टू दिस एन अदर सैड नाइंग कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ द अनिकल नेचर ऑफ कंपटिशन इज दैट द यूथ ऑफ मार्जिनलाइज सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी हैज फ्यूर अपॉर्चुनिटीज फेलियर इन कंपटिशन पर्टिकुलरली ड्यू टू इनबिलिटी टू अफोर्ड एक्सपेंसिव एजुकेशन एंड कोचिंग हैज लेड टू देयर फर्दर आइसोलेशन फ्राम मैन स्ट्रीम दिस सेंस ऑफ आइसोलेशन प्रोवाइड्स रूम फॉर एंटी सोशल एलिमेंट्स टू कन्विंस द सच मार्जिनलाइज यूथ टू मैप दैम विद कास्ट एंड रिलीजियस आइडेंटिटी एंड ग्रेजुअली इंडिक्टड एंड ग्रेजुअली इंसाइटेड टूवर्ड्स क्राइम extremism religious fundamentalism and petty politics is better to burn out than to fade away this quote is probably the best uh, reflection of growing level of competition among the youth today this becomes a race where the runners are programmed in a way that the person coming second would be a loser is either putting an effort to fall in the league of privilege are simply falling apart it is certain the growing level of competition has both beneficial and adverse effects on youth though nothing in absolute there are also concerns that such level of competition may not be sustainable the possible solutions may be abstract on the face of it starting with the perception of competition itself take for example the phrase survival of the fittest which is widely known as darwinian notion the fact is darwin never even used this the phrase it was coined by the it was coined or propounded by a right wing social thinker in 19th century called harvard Spencer who tried to corrupt Darwinian's thinking to his own reactionary economic parallels but Darwin talked about was natural selection which means the which means that an individual organism that is best able to adapt to a changing environment is most is more likely to be around and survive and reproduce hence much depend depends on how we as a society respond respond to this growing level of competition it could well turn out to be a, an opportunity or a crisis the least we can try is to ensure that everyone compete on equal terms the opportunity the opportunity is that youth seeks has to grow sustainably else we would be falling our youth we have to facilitate them with the level grounds with least distortion such as reservation the panacea for the menace in which they were never a party and most importantly a large bans on how we handle those who are left behind in the competition they are not failures those who lag behind must be encouraged and supported to chart out an alternate course for themselves the government society and ultimately the youth together have the ability to address the issue of uh, growing competition in this perspective let's just start from where it all begins for youth education competition and education have a deep correlation as per statistics nearly 4 lakh secondary school pass out apply for a few thousand seats in engineering medicine and other professional courses in a handful of uh, premier institutions across the country which ensures a cutthroat competition every year present time is rightly termed 
as an era of ever increasing cutoffs and diminishing the distance of but a human endeavor can accomplish and absolute perfection for instance delhi university 2018 quota for undergraduate admissions were ranging from 99% this is only a glimpse what youth in india is going through the buck must stop somewhere the situation thus demanded a thorough analysis of the present set of mechanisms in place and how they can be evolved for better the results of the competition must not be over generalized a feeling must be inculcated that winning or losing is a part of the process the role of the parents is preeminent here instead of telling their children that the big bad world out there needs to be won at any cost they are to help cultivate values for all round development besides setting realistic expectations and not showing any inhibitions to societal factors on a parallel front the youth of today must be taught that winning a competition alone is not the only condition for success it is one of the necessary criteria but not only the one success stories of people who broke stereotypes and carved out a niche of their own people like homi jahangir baba dr apj abdul kalam steve jobs will gates diru bhai ambani must etc must be included in their curriculum in the words of the former president of india dr apj abdul kalam the united minds of the youth of a country is the most powerful resources of the earth above the earth and under the earth is the duty of the nation as a whole for the optimum utilization of this resource as rightly said by plato that state or nation does not come out of rock or ox but it but it inheres in the mind of the people who lives in the state true there is no escape from the process of burning out but the honest objective of competition will be realized only if we as a system ensure that competition must inspire instead of merely making our youth perspire in the rat race and youth of today plays hard plays fair and plays till the end without giving up with this i'm signing off thank you for listening have a nice day